Hello there and welcome to my video showing you how to paint this Scottish bobby uh, using acrylic card and acrylic paint. I'm going to be using Amsterdam white heavy body paint, the System 3 De La Rowney Burnt Sienna, Prussian Blue and Cerulean Blue. I'm using an SAA flat number eight brush and a credit card that's been cut up so you can see here I've cut it up into a shape so I've got a, a smaller piece here a larger piece here you know, different sizes and this one a little bit smaller here for the windows so I'll be showing you that technique in a bit but to start with we just need to blend the colors to get this landscape to start with so I'm going to start with some burnt there's some Prussian blue, sorry, right in the middle. Now I'm using watercolour paper here. Um, if you do use watercolour paper, it's best to prime it first with some gesso. That way you'll find your blending works much more easily. I'm now going to add some cerulean. Look how much paint I've got on there. It's really important to use plenty of paint. That way you will find the blending works better. I'm going backwards and forwards to make sure that the Prussian blue mixes nicely with the cerulean and carry on going down there. Oops. So a little bit more cerulean blue. And I'm just going to add some white to the top. So again, plenty of white. I'm not cleaning my brush, I'm just adding that colour as I go along. So it's a nice transition from light to dark. Now I am going to wash the brush because I'm going to add some burnt sienna now to the middle bit. Now at this stage it's probably already dries a little bit so I'm just going to add a little bit more Prussian blue there just to make sure it is a bit wetter so it's going to blend nicely. And now I've got some burnt sienna on the brush, again plenty of it. And look how it mixes beautifully with that Prussian blue, it makes almost black. A little bit more to give the highlight of that burnt sienna coming through. And then a little bit of white just to lighten it at the bottom. Makes a really nice effect there, almost like a pathway. And you've almost got a nice little painting of itself there. Okay. And some of the colour is coming out, got a little bit of Prussian blue in there, that's rather nice. Okay, so that is ready now, prepared for painting the Scottish body on top. Now obviously this is wet, and so this is one I did earlier. Always fancy being Blue Peter presenter. <laughs> and uh, here it is, already dry. So it's very important to make sure it is dry before adding your body. Now, this is the side of the, the credit card that I'm going to use. So it's nice and wide here. I'm going to put plenty of paint on. So look at this, look how thick that is on the edge of the credit card and then I'm going to very carefully at a slant pull this down over the paint like this. You can go from the bottom up as well just to make sure it's nice and straight and you've got all the colour that you want. Now I'm going to stop at this stage because I want this to still be wet so that I can pull the windows out. Watch what I do with this credit card. Just scrape down a little bit like this and you get a lovely little window because the dark paint behind it is dry and stays in place and just a little bit more there so I've got two windows and a doorway let's just add a little doorway whilst it's still wet you can scrape out this scraping out technique is very useful uh, for all sorts of things you can do grasses and all sorts so again, I've got nice thick paint on here. I'm just doing this with my finger like this to make sure that it's a straight edge. And now I'm going to add a little bit more of the house or the body down like this. And again, from the bottom up. It needs to be a slant to make sure this happens. And it does need to be nice thick paint. Okay. And then again, I'm just going to use the smaller piece of credit card to add a window, scraping it hard like this. 
and a doorway here. And now I want to add the um, the roof now. So I need to wipe this clean. You can even wipe it in the water there, make it nice and clean. And then I'm going to put some burnt sienna on the card like this. I'm also going to put a little bit of Prussian blue in there as well. So you can see it's quite thick on there. And now a little bit more of burnt sienna. And then just get the edge there nice and clean. Again, at a slant, nice and straight, make sure it's horizontal and down to the bottom where it meets the cottage. Like the, oh, we've got a little bit of a, that's perhaps a bit thick that paint, but you see the idea. So what I could do there is just make the roof a little bit longer. Oh yes, I like that effect. Can you see how the white is actually mixing in with the roof? It's rather lovely. So I will leave that. Uh, I'm going to clean that off on my paper towel like this. And now I'm going to use this side of the credit card for my chimney. So again, plenty of paint. But this is where you have to be careful. You can see how the paint is just overlapping there. I want it to be nice and straight. So I just used my finger to get that out. So add the chimney here by again scraping down like that. And then a bit more paint so that I can add another chimney to the side. It's quite a simplified building that we've got here. And now I'm going to add a little bit of burnt sienna to the credit card and a little bit of white as well, just so that this stands out. And just add the chimney pots like that. And what's rather nice as well is you could actually add a little bit of a white fence paste along here or even a path, pathway, all sorts of things you can do with this, you know, just adding texture there, all sorts. Okay, well there we have it, a simple Bobby in Scotland using a credit card. I hope you've enjoyed um, this video, if you have please share it. Thank you.